at stormventures.com. Thanks so much for joining the show, Ryan. Thanks, Peter. All right, take care. Wow, I really enjoyed that conversation with Ryan. What a great guy. What a great communicator. I really enjoyed that conversation. I hope you guys do, did too with Ryan Floyd from Storm Ventures. You know, there's a couple things that I really wanted to kind of pull out of Ryan during this conversation. And I think we got a little bit of it. A couple of things that I wanted to pull out was around his YouTube channel. He is a prolific tweeter. He is a prolific blogger. He writes a lot and he's out there. He's expressing his opinions, his ideas. And I really appreciated that about him. And I know, as you guys can see clearly here, I know what it takes to start a, a, a YouTube channel, a, a media syndication system. I know what it takes and I know it's hard. It's hard to grow. It's hard to begin. It's hard to, to get feedback that you don't like early in the game. And I really appreciated that uh, Ryan was willing to talk about his beginning mindset, his beginner mindset and, and getting feedback from his daughters and saying that his titles aren't great and they're not as clickbaity as they need to be. But it really shows. I think it really is evidence that Ryan is a guy who really enjoys the process of learning. And if you were to track through, like I have, as, a, as the VC hunter going through his tweets, going through his blog, going through his history, he really has led a life by learning. He enjoys the process of learning. He enjoys getting in there. And he's learned enough, especially for his, uh, his type of thesis uh, with Storm Ventures, early stage B2B that he's learned enough that that's his wheelhouse, that's where he does his best work. One of the things that I really appreciated is his candor and honesty around his personal life. Uh, being part of a multiracial family uh, is really, really unique. It has its perks, it has its, it has its uh, aesthetics to it that give in individuals insights to the world that many of us, if we're not part of a biracial or multiracial family, we just don't know about. I've been blessed and fortunate enough to be part of a multi biracial, multiracial, whatever you want to call it, family. I've been part of, I have a huge extended family of lots of different nationalities, and I tell you, it brings the world to you. It opens up the doors, and I, found, I, I think Ryan said it really well there, that it gives you opportunities to be more successful. It gives you opportunities to, to see things from different perspectives and to ha be, and, and Storm Ventures isn't a diversity fund, but what Ryan has articulated is that having, a, having openness to diversity, well, just makes better investments. It just makes for better investments. So I really, really appreciated his honesty around that. I also, uh, we were talking uh, just a little bit about um, uh, the last question that I asked him about. He, he said on December 17th, 2017, 2015, wealth is not the measure of man. I asked him, okay, so what is? And what, I, wasn't, I wasn't there to, to catch him off guard, but I told him that, hey, some of these questions, you, they tend to be awkward, and, and if people get, if they think too much about it, then it becomes off as an inauthentic answer. But I really appreciate that he focused on, uh, hey, maybe in his, in his earlier years, he was driven, he was passionate, he was all about go, go, go. And these days, he's more interested in ensuring that he's a good father, a good dad. Things that, you know, being a father and being a husband, I think probably are the more important things in life. I hope you guys really appreciate and enjoyed this conversation that I had with Ryan Floyd from Storm Ventures. You can find more information about Ryan and this episode on vchunting.com slash Ryan Floyd. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I can't wait to have more shows coming up for you guys. We got some great invitations sent out and we got some great acceptances. Also, make sure you check out our newsletter. Kind of important, guys. We'll see you in the next one.